Hello everyone, back for another review, and today I have the lovely Our Generation Phoebe doll from the Hair to There Growing Hair um, line for the Our Generation set. So, there's a whole line of these dolls and a lot of different characters in this particular collection of the Hair to There, and these dolls are really cool because they are a lot like the Chrissy dolls from the late 60s, early 70s, early to mid 70s. So yeah, and she kind of has this sort of 70s style herself, which is really nice. Um, these dolls are amazing quality. I just experiencing each doll in person, it's just, it gets better and better. Um, these dolls are just, bottom line, they're amazing. They're wonderful quality for the price point. This doll was $29.99, so for a doll that is really good quality of the size, you can't beat it. So this doll has an interesting function. So she, like I said, is a grow hair doll. So she has, you know, pieces of hair that can actually grow and get shorter. So I guess I'll go over the doll herself and then I'll go over everything that she's about. So she has the classic Our Generation face mold, which I'm head over heels for. They have new face molds coming out. Um, there's this one like new face mold that I'm not exactly a fan of at all. It's kind of babyish looking, I guess, and she looks kind of grumpy in my eyes, but I prefer this face mold because she looks so sweet and m more mature looking, I guess but still youthful this doll has brown eyes she has a caucasian tan skin tone her lips are actually a grayish like rosy pinky color and she has blush in her cheeks she has the cloth body just like all the others she has this beautiful white dress with the belt a very summery looking dress and it's got some like frill at the bottom and this knitted vest jacket thing and frilly sleeves and she actually has I believe that's a metal buckle right there which is really nice quality I mean they could have easily just printed all this on but they didn't her hair goes all the way to her feet and she has this rose gold this light rose gold blonde with platinum streaks and then the three braids are, is what grows and retracts and those are her little shoes with little bows on them I haven't taken the plastic off yet and each our generation doll does have little underwears on so she has baby blue ones and what's good about the hair to their dolls is their heads don't wobble because they have a entire big piece like mechanism piece in their body so that their head can't do that basic points of articulation the arms go up and down the hips the legs go back and forth in the head then the doll's head can turn side to side at the neck so and the thing with these dolls is they have like the Chrissy doll they have the little knob in the back, which I found interesting because there are Chrissy's. There were Chrissy's back in the 70s that had the flower, a flower shaped knob, which I'll show you. And then the Our Generation dolls have a flower knob too. So, yeah, it says push to release hair. So, that's the only different thing about these dolls is to be able to twist the hair in, you push that button which releases the hair because if you just turn the knob without pressing that button, nothing is going to happen. So, that is her. As far as her accessories, she comes with the hair guide book, like the hair care booklet. She comes with this booklet to show you lots of other Our Generation stuff that you can get. I'm pretty sure lots of you have seen it. I really like the doll on the front. I think her name is Coral. She's really pretty. And then the she comes with this um, hairstyling booklet. So it shows you like different ways 
that you can style the hair. So yeah, those are just a few of those accessories. And she also comes with two hair extensions with butterflies. She comes with two heart hair clips and a comb just for display purposes. You don't really use that on your doll's hair. They really recommend you use a wire brush, which I use this one. It used to have a handle, but it broke. But this is a dog or cat brush with these sort of bristles. And this is amazing for brushing doll hair and detangling it. So I guess I'll get everything set up and show you guys how she works. So, you have your doll. And then there's her grow hair. So, when you want to make her hair go in, you push that button and you'll hear the click and then you just start turning her knob clockwise so going in this direction so turning this direction and you can see that the hair is going in one thing on these dolls and other dolls that came after the Chrissy is they do have this like ring around the uh, scalp where the ponytail goes in so that it doesn't so that the hair doesn't catch onto the rooted hair and pull it in. That's the thing the Chrissy doll does not have. Now the one thing on the Chrissy doll is she has a belly button on the front of her that you push on her tummy and that's what releases the hair. But with these dolls you just pull on the braids and they come out. That is very easy to do and I guess I will show you the Chrissy doll. So this is a Chrissy doll from the late 60s, early 70s. So I will show you on her. So you see she has a knob as well. So you don't press anything. You can just start turning the hair. And as you can see, it gets shorter. And then you can like style it down. The hair that's shorter is meant to look like how the people had their hair in the 70s. They had the long hair and then there was the shorter bits on the side. But with Chrissy, she has a belly button that you press right there and that releases the hair so that you can pull it back out. So yes, very, very similar. And we have another Chrissy that I have customized. I rerouted her. And then I styled her hair like Phoebe's hair. I gave her three braids. So yeah, this is a Chrissy that I customized with lavender hair. And the other Chrissy had a round knob, but some of them come with, if you can see that, it is a flower knob. She doesn't have any underwear on because sometimes it can be hard to find underwear for these Chrissy dolls. A lot of Chrissy's from the 70s have lost their underwear, so. But yeah, she has the flower knob and she does the exact same thing. She has the belly button on her tummy. But I just find it interesting that the Our Generation doll, while it's a similar mechanism, basically does the same thing and she is 18 inches like the Chrissy dolls and American Girls and My Life and all those other 18 inch dolls. So, I mean, for the price point, these dolls are wonderful quality. They are absolutely stunning dolls. They come with lots of accessories. Oh yeah, and her eyes do close like all our generation dolls do, except for the mini ones. So yeah, that is Phoebe from the hair to from hair to there from the hair to there collection absolutely gorgeous doll I highly recommend these for anybody another thing I will mention is you can actually wash these dolls hairs so like if their hair gets messy like companies like American Girl like when you go to the American Girl store they say you can't wash their hair you should only just use water and a brush but you can if you're, you know, an adult buying this for your child, or if you're a collector, just wash the hair yourself. Um, don't give it to a kid to wash, because they'll just get frustrated. So, yeah. 
but they can be washed and conditioned and stuff like that. You can even boil wash their hair, which is very common when restoring doll hair. So yeah. Anyhow, that is my video. Thank you guys for watching. More videos to come, and remember to stay true to you.